What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and we're going to start off today's adventure at Niles Park where we're going to do our little bit of a grind session tonight. We got a ton of exciting things to do in this video. We got to grow... You missed your great throw? That's one of the things we got to do in this video. Okay, so one of the things we got to do is open our research breakthrough, which I've been sitting on for a little bit, so it's been simmering, getting that shiny luck ready, so hopefully we get a shiny... Oh, by the way, we're with Connor. We got Gavin in the back if it's not too dark back there, but yeah, research breakthrough. We got to spin the quest to get to work on and get today. Um, we got a lot of cool news to talk about. We got a new uh, update in the game. We got a special trade, and also, I'm going to be throwing on my Melton mystery box. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the shiny isn't available. Like, I think it's only available during the events that they have for it. So I don't think we can get a shiny. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I, I don't think it's available, but just make sure to let me know because I'm exact. I'm honestly not 100% sure on that. But I haven't. I think this is only like the third or fourth melting box I've ever opened. Um, what is going on here? All right, there we go. Just reloaded the game right there, and here's our first melt. Wait, what? Oh, so we're just not going to get a Melton spawn because we have to reload the game? Nope, so there goes one spawn, but it's all good. I'm going to be catching a lot of Meltons. Uh, I guess I'll check the first one on camera whenever it does spawn. All right, before we do our research breakthrough, I actually have one alone egg hatching, and so does Gavin, coincidentally. So we're going to go ahead and hatch him right now. Go. Show it that way. Let's see what we got. All right, I'm going to guess Mantike for me. All right, Connor did not look happy. Three, two, one. Wow. They both could have been shiny, but they were both... Well, this was a good hatch. Mine sucked. Okay. And here we are. Let's go ahead and start the video off with the field research breakthrough. We got to start off with some fire, man. Let's get this thing going. 3,000 Stardust. Three rare candies. Sinnoh Stone? No. I'm not too mad. 3,000 Stardust. Three rare candies is cool. Um, you know what's cool? I never got a shiny crowd on until today. That's that's my favorite part. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, that was close. 1745 grout on right here. That's stuff we get in the pineapple. Dude, that was close. Oh, I need to be getting my like oh yes. I just thought about something. I need to be getting my grates. This is a perfect opportunity to throw data berries because <laughs> Groudon is attacking us. So we're gonna go ahead and get our grates off right here. Really, really hoping he doesn't get caught with a literal Pokeball. That would I mean I appreciate it, but like, dog, I need my grates right here. So, right here yeah, it. please don't, please, bro, don't do that. Okay, that that'd be tough. It's gonna be an easy way, a very easy way to get five great throws just like that. We only need three more, um, and then we have three tasks to claim. One of them is trade a Pokemon. One of them is gonna be Spinda, which remember can be shiny. And then the last one is I don't even know what I have for my last one. I think this is the second to last great right here, right? Or is it the last one? Yeah, second to last great. So we need one more, and then after that, I should probably actually catch the Groudon. One, two, th no way! I po Pokeballed a legendary Groudon. 1745 Groudon. I oh. that they they almost went really really far. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. But it's not good and it's not good enough to stay with us. So Groudon, I'm sorry. Oh, I can definitely what? get a great right here. Wilmer and a shiny. Boom. All right, Thanos. All right, Nana Berry going down on the big boy right here. We need a great, ladies and gentlemen. You know I'm gonna hit it. Oh, that was close. That was so close. All right, there's our spin to research. Very, very happy about that. And we got three tasks to open. By the way, I have been checking a whole bunch of Meltons. I don't think the shiny's out, so thank you to people that helped me out in the comments, but I think we're gonna be okay. I also got my Go Plus going, so we're definitely gonna be getting all the Pokemon. I'm gonna save the spin down for, until the end of the adventure, but we will open the other two. Trader Pokemon was a Drifloon, not a good one. 509? Isn't that the Hundo? Never mind. forget I said anything. All right, next reward is Spinda that I opened on accident. <laughs> Gosh darn it! Okay, well that took away, you know what, that would have been a dope clip if I didn't know that that was a Spinda one and I just clicked it and it was shiny. That would have been pretty crazy. All right, and Spinda goes down right there. 503, I know it's gonna no be way. a bad IV one, so I'm not too worried about that. Growlithe right here, shiny check. Oh God, my Go Plus got to it first. Let's go ahead and check our recents, come on. No way, no way, ah, uh, nothing here, okay. I guess let's go ahead and open our last research reward, which we, I don't even remember what this is. Seal, it was catch five water types, and it is not a good one though, but Fohan it. All right, and we're back home from the adventure. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't too crazy. I mean, as you guys know, there's not really, it's not really any events going on right now, so like the spawns were just kind of regular spawns, but Connor and I are gonna do our special trade right now, and then we're gonna go ahead and check uh, all the IVs and all the Pokemon that we caught in that little session, so that'll be fun, because I haven't checked any of the Pokemon, including those Meltons, and I still need a good Melton, but Connor and I are gonna do our special trade, swapping armored Mewtwo's right now. Here we go, 600 Stardust. I thought this would be a cool trade. We were gonna do something else, but like armored, Mew armored Mewtwo is quote unquote relevant right now. See if we can get one lucky. That'd be pretty dope. I have I have not seen a lucky armored Mewtwo yet, but it'd be cool to see one right now. 
it yeah. would would have been cool. It would have been cool. 1780 IVs on that one are not great. Uh, let's go ahead and look at our uh, what do you call it? Oh wait, no, not not the, not yet. Let's go ahead and open three research rewards, which I forgot what they are. But let's go ahead and check them all. Drifloon 513. 484. I'm not even going to think about that one. The next reward right here, I think, is a Magic Carb or a Teddy Ursa. It's a Magic Carb 117, 112. Okay, and then finally, the last reward right here being a Eevee. I'm down. What, what we got here? 443. Sorry about that, we got a quick phone call right there, but that's a bad EV, so that's gonna suck, and that's gonna be it for all of our awards. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and scroll all the way back to what we, uh, what we caught earlier. Starting from this Melton right here. Trash. Uh, ooh, not bad. On the new mole right there. Let's go ahead and just, we're just going to go ahead and keep going. And then if anything catches our eye, we will stop. Kind of an okay, couple okay diglets right there. Wait, was that a fat L diglet? Hold on. No, it wasn't a fat L. Okay, let's go ahead and keep moving here. Come on. Something needs to surprise us. I do want to get a good IV Melton if possible. Come on. Ooh, ooh. Okay. I mean, gosh, 45 CP, but I will check this bad boy out afterwards. It's got 15 attack on it, so that's not a bad one at all. Uh, that Drifloon was a 98 that we caught earlier, although I have two 98s already, so as, as, as weird as it is, I'm just going to transfer that and not really care about it. Um, let me go ahead and keep checking. We did get some pretty cool catches, I'll tell you that much. A couple 15s in there, a couple 15s in there, but nothing too hot, nothing too crazy. Come on. Hook us up with 100 out of nowhere. We don't have many checks left, and it looks like we are not going to get anything good, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so nothing too crazy in terms of IVs. But yeah, man, that wasn't that wasn't the worst adventure. It just wasn't nothing crazy again. No event, but it was still cool. It was a nice little grind session. You know, sometimes they pay off, sometimes they don't. Also, if you guys didn't remember, there is a brand new PvP update in the game. Uh, it was not live when it got announced, but it is now live in Pokemon Go. So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Connor and I are going to do a quick little battle right now. But let me tell you guys about the update a little bit. All the charge moves are updated. It's no longer that circle where you tap 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 and then it increases to like a three ring and then it does damage you actually have to do like interactive sequences when so you guys will see what i'm talking about in a second so without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the battle right now waiting for this to go down yeah i don't know what you got i don't think he knows what i have either so it's just gonna be completely random let's see i got a shiny lapras he's oh. got <laughs> nice <laughs> shiny lapras okay well i guess his first one to get the uh First one to get the ice shard off and then or oh I have surf. Let's see how surf looks. Okay, so here's surf. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh okay, oh okay, I just gotta keep following it. Oh what? Gotta keep following Oh gosh. Oh that was that wasn't the greatest. That was not the greatest. Okay. I know there is a little bit of a trick. You kind of just keep doing the circles like that. I was just seeing like how it worked regularly. You had Ice Beam. That yeah. one is different. So I'm pretty sure each of the charged move animations are different per type of move. So like okay. every water move would have the same thing. Um, let's go ahead and do another surf. Let's, let's try the circle oh, yeah, thing. Let's try the circle thing. Boom, 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 Excellent. And then that's going to do a lot more damage than it would um, otherwise. So cool. I actually, I actually really like the system. Again, way more interactive. Although, because somebody found out this little just like do a circle thing, it kind of... It's almost a little bit easier than just tapping. <laughs> so hopefully uh, hopefully we don't get too bored. I'm going to go ahead and just circle, 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 circle. I'm missing. So it's not it's not the easiest thing on the planet. But this, obviously this is my first time ever doing it. What you got right here? What you got? Wow, Roserade. I, I would switch, but it's not really that big of a deal. We got another surf off right there. I'm down. Can I hit every single one again? Don't miss one. Don't miss one. Don't miss one. Let's go. Excellent. And wow. Next Pokemon. You know what it is. Shiny Charizard. I had to. I had to. I gotta see this. All right, I'm about to get my blast burn off here. Let's go ahead and see what the fire one is. All right, let's see. L let me try to. Let me not do. Oh my god. Okay, this is literally just circles. Way easier for me. Nice. And not an excellent, but a blast burn. Blast, blast burn. We don't even get to see Polyrath. I should have. I should have switched them out. Yeah. All right. Definitely like this a lot better than tapping. One because I sucked at tapping. Two because it is a little bit more interactive, even though it's still kind of simple. Well, there are some of the new animations of Pokemon Go. Very very cool. Again, let me know what you guys think about the system. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of the video. All right, and now we're home home, and we are doing something right now that I totally forgot to mention in the video, but it's so so cool. Today we're going to be doing another shiny evolution again. All of these shiny evolutions I do are brand freaking new, so I'm always super excited to do them, and I love 
putting them in the video. So without further ado, we're going to be evolving Shiny Why Not in Pokemon Go. It's 299 CP, 91% IVs on it are actually pretty freaking good. So I'm really happy about that one. Hatch this one on February 21st, 2019. Is this the first one I've ever hatched? Let me check. No, okay, February 2nd, 2019, and then January 19th, 2019. But, dude, I hatched three shiny, not, three shiny Why Nots in one month. Look at that. January, February, February. Are you kidding me? Three shiny Why Nots in, like, let's call it 30-ish days? That's insane. That is insane. Make sure to let me know if you guys have hatched the shiny baby. I'm sure a good amount of you guys have done that by now. But without further ado, man, this is a shiny that I... This is like one of the shinies in this game that I randomly have a, a lot of. I have really good random luck with Shiny Why Not. But without further ado, Shiny Why Not. Let's go ahead and evolve this to Wobbuffet. I gotta remember that it's a 91. <sighs> Let's go ahead and do that evolution right there. Man, that is one of the most, it is one of the most satisfying shinies in the game. It is so vibrant. That color is so vibrant. Um, and it's just so cool, super cool to look at. Here we go. There is Shiny Wobbuffet. Male, by the way. But there's Shiny Wobbuffet. Dope, dope, dope. 576 CP, a whopping 576 CP, but there that is right there, man. Very, very cool shiny. Why didn't the name change? That's my that's my question. The Wobbuffet 91, can I fit it? Can I fit it? I can. I'm gonna call it Wob 91%. <laughs> How about that? But there is Wobbuffet. Ooh, it's got charm on it too. Okay, all right. So I can power this bad boy up, make my PvP guy, because that'll be some fire. That's dope, man. I'm happy to get that. A really, really cool shiny added to the collection. We, have, we now can go ahead and press plus why not and then we can see the family right there well let's reverse the order right there there's our family we got why not and then his brother father him older self whatever you want to call it Wobbuffet right there so super happy about that and to wrap up the video I do want to talk about some news that's actually pretty interesting and something I've been wanting in Pokemon Go for a long long time we have new team leader Pokemon yes you heard that right we have new team leader Pokemon here's a dope infographic provided to us by a couple of gaming as always as you can see on the top right there that is team um What's her name? Blanche. Yeah, Blanche. That's her new team. As you can see in the Great League, she's got Sneasel, Celio, and Castform. Ultra League, she's got Glaceon, Glaceon, Empoleon, and Mamoswine. And then in the Master League, she's got Suicune, Metagross, and Articuno. Um, and then in the middle right there, we got Team Candela for Team Valor. In the Great League, she has Combusken, Macargo, and Castform. In the Ultra League, she's got Flareon, Typhlosion, and Magmortar. In the Master League, she's got Entei, Salamence. No idea why they chose Salamence and then Moltres. Like, I don't know why they did that, but okay, I'm down. That is that is honestly one of my favorite teams on this picture right there. That team right there. Um, actually, I'll tell you guys my three favorites at the end of this, but let's go ahead and keep moving. And then for Team Spark on the bottom there, he's got Plusle, Electrode, and Rainy Cast form in the Great League. In the Ultra League, he's got Jolteon, Luxray, and Magnezone. And then in the Master League, come on, son. Come on, son. Raikou, Tyranitar, and Zapdos. There are the new team leader Pokemon. We finally got a rotation. However many months it's been since PvP came out. I don't know how many months it's been, but we finally got a rotation. Very, very awesome. I love it. Make sure to let me know in the comments down below what your guys' favorite little group is. Uh, my favorite three groups. It was kind of a hard decision. I love Team Blanche's Ultra League Pokemon, uh, the Glaceon, Empoleon, Mamoswine. And then Team Spark's last two teams are just insane. That I love that too. So so those are my three favorite teams. Such a cool variety of Pokemon right there. And that is going to be it for today's video. Kind of a short one, but I gotta go prepare for Mudkip Community Day. You know what it is, man. Good luck to everyone out there participating. If, if you know if it's already happened, then make sure to let me know in the comments down below how you guys did. Mudkip Community Day video coming out tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your faces. Make sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you guys have not already. Thank you so much for watching. I will see your faces later. Deuces.